<laughs> All right. <laughs> so it turned out to be a uh, great day. Yes, except for a few isolated showers. Now, for the most part, if you were out and about today, this probably didn't get in your way. Uh, but if you're on the freeway driving right now, you're running into some of those downpours as we speak. It's fabulous, though, out towards Seaside. Look at that. All kinds of blue sky, 58 degrees, looking pretty good. Over in Ridgefield, this is where I showed you about five minutes ago. This is where we're getting some pretty good downpours. It's well to the east of I-5 now, moving past La Center and out towards Amboy. Uh, but you can see the big difference here where we're having downpours here and on the other side out to the west. It's all about blue sky, 57 degrees there right now. And a nice view from our Subaru cam. Looking out and about over Portland, it's 53. And your temperatures this evening are going to fluctuate quite a bit. As soon as we get rid of some of those clouds, we'll briefly warm up and then cool back down for us tonight back into the lower 50s. So as we take a look at what's happening on radar again, this is really just pockets of showers, but most areas are in the clear and enjoying some sunshine. So you might be dry right now, but just be aware that occasionally we are getting some showers to come through. So out towards Hillsboro, for the moment you're dry right around Portland, we're seeing some very light rain out past uh, East Vancouver and Orchards. You're seeing some rain there. And then, as I was showing you just a moment ago, out towards La Center, uh, Woodland and Amboy, you're seeing a ring of showers come through there. In the last few hours, we've noticed basically we're beginning this drying out process. So any kind of instability is beginning to kind of die down and will continue to do so as we get through the next couple of hours, but plenty of blue sky out here. So here's our planner for tomorrow. Tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. Temperatures, once again, on the chilly side in the morning. We're gonna start off the morning in the mid 40s, and that's at eight o'clock. So some of you might even get down into the low 40s in the valley. Okay, so getting closer to your lunch hour, we're in the mid 50s, and then tomorrow, expecting the high closer to about 62 with pretty much unlimited sunshine. Uh, wind is going to be out of the northwest at about eight miles per hour. Uh, Central Oregon heads up uh, freeze warning for you. This starts tomorrow morning, two in the morning and lasts until nine o'clock in the morning. This is where temperatures in the morning could be as cold as 25 degrees. So it's not that you don't have these kind of temperatures at least during the winter, but at this point in the season, definitely a heads up here, especially if you have any sensitive plants or you have spouses, bring them inside, bring them in overnight. Okay, here's your forecast for tomorrow along the coast. We'll be in the upper 50s to low 60s. Expecting sunshine there too. Temperatures tomorrow in the valley range anywhere from about 61 to 64. Central and Eastern Oregon daytime highs in the low 60s. Again, remembering those temperatures right around freezing or below in the morning. Hood River, you're up to 63 tomorrow. The Dalles almost 70 with sunshine and government camp up to 56. Oh, and of course, the corn maze forecast. We can't forget that because this is going to be a pretty good weekend for that, especially Saturday. Saturday, there's a slight chance to see some rain, but most of the day will be dry. Sunday is looking like more of our wet day out of the weekend. So take a look here at your seven day forecast. Low 60s for the next few days. And then we get into next week and it's like goodbye 60s. We're just going to move right into the 50s and stay there for a few days. All right. I guess that's okay. Thanks, <laughs> Natasha. Okay. Hey, the Oregon Humane